Hey YouTube, Windraiser here today coming to another Transformers review. Today we're going to be uh, looking back into the realm of beasties, little beasties. I know my hair's a mess, I just got in the shower. Um, and we're going back into the uh, previous, or not the most recent Transformers, because Transformers 1 has been out and done and it was great um we're going back into the transformers rise of the beasts and i'm gonna be so happy to be taking a look at transformers studio series cheetor not bad for a cheetah for studio series um yes there were some people uh some reviewers who didn't like it some just didn't care for this kind of scheme um it's a little, I will say this, it's a little offsetting and a little bit muted for a, uh, I guess this would be like a beige-ish orange color, but there is some gunmetal grays and some dark grays to break it up, the contrast, and some facial features as well as some uh, spot details along the head, back, and um, some areas of the of the bestial legs. The only thing I, the only grab I have aside from that is, I don't like how his hands are just like right there. Don't like it. But the rest of the figure, I do like it. I love the head sculpt. I love the face. I love how his eyes are a nice green. Very well done. Um. Uh, I have Rhinox. Give me a moment. Let me put him in beast mode, and um, I'll do a size by size. All right, I got uh, Rhinox on beast beast mode. It took me a while because I almost forgot how to transform him. But this is the mainline Rhinox, and um, I would say Cheetor is a bit bigger, only because he's Studio Series. But when it came to these characters in that movie, there was really no size difference between the characters. They were all big beasts. And for those of you who have watched Beast Wars and grew up on Beast Wars like the rest of us, we know that the Maximals and Predacons are the same size as a human. But not to get off track and off kilter. But yeah, it's a good beast mode. Posability on hit. There is some posability in the head. It can do a full 360. There is some a little bit up and down, a little bit of side to side. Uh, mouth does open and close. Uh, the front paws can only go forward and back that much. There's a bend there, there's a swivel, and toes move up and down, and the ankle does rotate. The back legs, not so much. I mean, you've got the joint there for in and out. You've got no joint there. There's no knee joint. There's an ankle joint and little toe joint. That is it. Aside from the butt is not supposed to move. Tail moves up and down at this point here as well as that point there. Um, that's really it for posability. Accessories he comes with is these two uh, Aztec looking spears. I forget what they're called, but I'll put it uh, in the description, say in brackets, saying what the spear is called. Um, well, they're nicely detailed. There you go. Nicely done. Uh, one is shorter than the other, and there is a reason for that. Uh, pose, uh, pose belly for the spears. Uh, storage, he has these two slots on his back. There are these two tabs here. And you basically angle them in, and then push down. So just angle it in th the back way, and then just push down. And those just sit on his back like so. 
But let's go ahead and get into his transformation. And it's what you expect out of a Cheetor. Just stand it up and then do something with the front. So first we're going to do is lift his butt up. Throw down these will be his twos. Straighten this out on both sides. Bend the knee. Unhook this piece here on both sides. Compress it down. And this will form the robot shin and uh, knee guard. And you just rotate those at the, what will be the thigh. Straighten them out and stand it up. Go ahead and straighten up the front paws. Fold the claws down. Take this panel and swing it out. Like that. Do the same on the other side. And there's some fur texture on him, even on the tummy. Come to these panels and we're going to pull them away from the neck. Like so. And there is a slot here that tabs into that right there. So when they go from this, go ahead and bring it down, rotate the bicep, and then rotate the wrist. Do the same on the other side. Down, down, rotate, and rotate. Then we come here to the chest. Go ahead and open that. Open the back. Fold this piece down. And then you can fold the cat head in until it clicks into place. Fold it up. Fold this part up. Fold that in. And the cat in the back should close in the close. There you go. Go ahead and bring this up, or bring it up the tail there. It will just snug snugly onto his back. Rotate the head, and there we have Cheetor in his robot mode. And it's not a bad looking robot mode. I do like it. I don't like the the scuffing on the torso and the cod piece. Um, they could have done without that. But aside from that, it's a it's a decent looking robot mode. It's just, uh, he has some very nubby toes. But, yeah. So, nice head sculpt. I do like the head. Very nicely done. I like the details in the the new details in the shoulders. Um, we have uh, some spots in the chest piece, as well as the um, upper arm and the thigh muscle. Very nice. He does have a maximal symbol. Although it is very tiny. It is sitting on that silver piece right there. Um, he does retain the green eyes in his robot mode. So that's very nice. And his... He has a mouth. It's just... Where it sits is very weird. It's like... It's sitting right there. Here, I'll use his spear to point at it. Right where the tip of the spear is, that's where his mouth is. Where weird placement. But yeah, posable on him. The head is on a ball joint, so there's nice range of motion there. Arms can do a full 360. There is a hinge for in and out. You can also use a transformation hinge. Um, the shoulder pad will move with the arm, so it can go all the way out. There is a bicep swivel. Bend at the elbow about 90 degrees. Wrists do rotate. We lift up his butt flap. He does have a waist rotation. Legs can kick forward that far. Back only that far. They can kick out that far. There is a thigh swivel. About 90 degree bend at the knee. Toes can move up and down a little bit. And there's ankle tilt, tiltage both directions, so he can have severe broken ankles. Yeah, so that's my thing. 
for every transformer. If your ankle goes that far, it's broken. If it goes that far, it's broken. So he has broken ankles. Um, his weapon, I'm going to put him right there. As close to the camera as I can get him. His weapon uh, does stick together. Oops. Yeah, hold on. My eyes can't do it so close up. Yeah. His spear only goes together in one format, and you have to match the uh, flat piece up with that, or otherwise it will not stick together. And in order for him to hold this, you have to have one piece in first, and then come underneath and peg in the other piece. So these two pieces have to be facing on the same side. So now he can have his spear thing and throw it around and stab Terracons with it and everything. Uh, my moan, my my moan, my moan main pose I have him in is like this. So that's my display pose for him. Um, size by size comparison again. Let me transform Rhinox into his robot mode, and I'll show him off side by side. All right, I got Rhinox transformed into his robot mode. So here they are side by side with each other. And with his legs straight now, he's a just a smidge taller. But they do look good together. I do like them. Um, I have Primal around somewhere. I may have put him in storage on accident, so I got to dig him out find out where he's at. But they do look good together. Cheetor has become my new um, stand-in work bot, so very cool but yeah i do like him very much um now that i have sorry um some of the studio series i have him i have air razor i have nightbird and bumblebee um i still need, a, need to find a scourge and a battle trap and that's really it. Oh, and I also have uh, Mirage for the Rise of the Beast figure studio series. I really just need a Battle Trap and a Scourge, and once I hunt them down, I have the entire cast of both sides. But yeah, there you guys have it. There is my review for the Transformers Rise of the Beast studio series Cheetor. I'm Windraiser, and I'll catch you on the next review.